Hey guys, it's Holly from The Run Experience. Today I'm giving you my favorite post-run 5K stretches and tell you the difference between dynamic and static stretching. Okay, so the stretches we're gonna do today are gonna be what you wanna use post-run. So you've just finished running, you're nice and sweaty, everything's, the blood's flowing, you're feeling good. Uh, so there's gonna be some deeper, longer holds in these stretches versus what you might do before your run. We like to save these for the end because your body is primed for them. If you do something static or more of a long, harsh stretch at the beginning before you run, your muscles aren't quite ready at that point. So we save the static for the end. Let's get into that first stretch. All right, guys. So. After your run, the very first thing I want you to do is just a cool down walk. So maybe three to five minutes, let that heart rate settle, just let those legs kind of start to flush out. Um, after that, the first thing we're gonna do is we're gonna just get our legs up on the wall. Today I'm gonna use this uh, trusty lamp post for you. Uh, but all you're gonna do is just simply lay down on the ground, get your feet above you and start reversing that blood flow. So I'm gonna show you what that looks like. Feeling dedicated to you guys today as I get down <laughs> wet ground. So all you're gonna do is kind of get your hips lined up with the wall there as much as you can. Kind of creating as much of a vertical position as you can. And then you're just gonna let those legs go right up top. So bend them a little if you need to, but if you can let them go straight, that's great. And then just relax down, just laying down here. All you're doing here is letting the blood flow back into the heart and up towards the body. Everything's been, been moving the other way since you've been running. So we're just gonna reverse that flow. Spend about five to 10 minutes here. You can post an Instagram, you can call your mom, <laughs> whatever you wanna do. Uh, just let the, the blood flow and let those legs settle. That'll be the first one. All right guys, so the second stretch I want you to do is called the pigeon stretch. You've probably heard of this before or maybe seen some version of it. Uh, what it does is it basically undoes that, that motion we were in repeatedly for the run. We're basically gonna cross into that and get the whole outside of the leg, the glute, um, maybe in, even a little into the hamstring and the hip flexor. And we're gonna take a few minutes on each side. So I'm gonna show you what the full version of the pigeon looks like. I'm gonna basically bring this leg in front to create a 90 degree angle as best I can. I'm gonna keep this foot as flexed as possible to protect the knee joint here. And then just give myself a nice good supported position with my hands on either side. The back leg, as much as I can, is relaxing behind me without rotating out. So keeping it nice behind me like this. If this feels good, I'll probably just hang out here, maybe a little motion there, but just big inhales and exhales, trying to use that breath to get a little bit deeper. Once I'm feeling good here, maybe I can come down to my elbows if that's feeling okay. This is by no means normal, so you just, you just go as far as you can. Um, but as long as you're feeling a nice stretch out to the side, that's what we want here. Something that's breaking up what we did on the running. Um, and as, as long as you're spending a few minutes here, that's great. Just keep moving and, and holding and stretching as you need. Probably about three minutes per side is perfect. If you're super flexible and everything, you just walk those hands out, lay down as much as you can and hang out there, nice big breaths. Again, on those exhales, it's gonna be the point where you're gonna go a little bit further. So big inhale, hold the breath, and the exhale is when you get a little bit deeper into that stretch. If this is just looking absolutely impossible and there's no way you can even begin to find that position, that's totally fine. One way to modify is to find that lunge position here and then just do a little dynamic version of it. So I'm just gonna kind of drop that knee, bring it back up, drop that knee, bring it back up. Those hands are there to support you as is the back leg. So there's no real danger here. You're just gonna start to introduce the hip to that range of motion. And if it feels a little bit better, you can go a little bit further. And that's how we're gonna modify that pigeon pose. Okay guys, this third one requires basically no effort at all. It's kind of like the legs up on the wall. It's gonna be a child's pose. Um, super simple, it's gonna get into that low back, just stretch out the whole back of the upper body and a little bit into those hips as well. How I'm gonna get into that is I'm just gonna sit on my knees Hopefully you're not on concrete like I am, or pavement like I am, uh, but make sure you have something soft and supportive underneath. And uh, you can do a little bit of a separation between the knees here as you walk the hands forward like this. And I'm just gonna kind of hang out here starting to feel around what's tight. Right now my shoulders are tight, but sometimes it's the hips that, that are the first thing to kind of kick in here. Just kind of moving around a little bit. Once you find a good spot, just settle. You can rest your head down on the ground like this. And as you feel um, a good stretch and you start to take those bigger inhales and exhales, you can keep walking the hands further and flattening yourself closer to the ground. On those exhales is the time to do that as well. Um, if you want, you can separate the knees even further to get more into those hips. But as far as the upper body, just, just simply being on the ground, rounding forward is gonna be a good way to get in there. 
Okay guys, the last stretch I have for you is going to be an assisted hamstring stretch. If you have a running partner or a cameraman, which I am gonna use today, uh, great. If you don't, you can use simply an extra t-shirt or something, a towel, just some, some way to kind of uh, get your leg supported while you're stretching your hamstring. So I'm gonna show you what this looks like. When you guys see that hand coming from behind the camera, don't worry about it, this is supposed to happen. <laughs> so I'm gonna lay down on my back here Get my leg up in the air while it's right. If this feels fine right here, leave it. Um, as far as going forward, you're gonna use the breath to kind of increase that stretch. So I'm gonna take a big inhale. On the exhale, I'm gonna go a little further. He's gonna push me a little further, or if I had a towel, I would pull a little further. Hang out here a few seconds, repeat. And exhale a little bit further. You can flex that foot for a little bit more of a stretch or you can relax it for less of one. 10 breaths per side, you're gonna get nice and into those hamstrings. As much as you can, relax the quad, relax everything else around it. This is just about getting the back of those legs. All right, so that's everything. There's gonna be four stretches there. Feel free to use them as you need. Obviously, you don't have to hit all four every single run, but at least two to three would be ideal. Um, use them, use them with a partner, You know, breathe through everything. You're gonna notice a big difference in your flexibility if you do them regularly. Guys, outside of running and stretching, there is a ton more you can do to get prepped for that 5K. We have an awesome beginner running program. It's free for you, two weeks of workouts, stretches, ways to get moving. All you have to do to get it is put your name and email in the link at the end of this video and we will send those to you. If you liked this video, make sure you hit that like button down below. If you have any comments or questions, requests for future videos, something like that, make sure you drop it in the comments. We love to get in there and get the conversation going. And lastly, make sure you subscribe to the channel. We have new videos coming out every single week, almost every day at this point, and we want you to see them. That's all I got for you today. I will see you in the next video.